Dressed in what he calls his clown onesie, in a room full of colour, Grayson Perry is still the most colourful thing. I wanted this room to be a celebration of everything that the summer shows. So I wanted a really summery colour. Did you have to go and lie down in a darkened room afterwards? <laughs> yeah. The former Turner Prize winner has been invited to chair this year's summer exhibition at the Royal Academy, the longest running contemporary art show of its kind in the world, where pieces by the likes of David Hockney and Tracy Emin are displayed alongside works by amateur artists, with most on sale to the public. What I've noticed is there's plenty of politics on show. Is that a sign of the times? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, the broader contemporary art field is very full of politics at the moment. So I wanted to have, and when I was hanging this show, you know, and I, I invited some people. I invited Banksy, for instance. It's on sale for how much? I don't know. It's, um, been, it's on sale for £350 million. Pounds, <laughs> The summer exhibition has been running for 250 years, with Royal Academy members selecting the artwork submitted. This year, a record 1,350 works have made the show. The RA's procedures have changed little over the years, but some things are different. I'd say it was more diverse now than it was in those days, but in the core idea in many ways hasn't changed. It's a kind of unofficial artist trade union, particularly for women. There's been, at the moment we're in a little bit of a golden age for the older women artists. I mean, it's, it's shameful that they have been neglected in the past, but people like Rose Wiley or Phila de Barlow are having really brilliant kind of third age sort of uh, rejuvenations in their careers, you know, and this is really great. I, you know, I think there is something for everyone here. Anybody that's at all interested in visual art will find a lot in this show that is exciting. Biggest toy box, you know. As if to prove the point that anyone can submit a work, Harry Hill pops in. Art is the comedian's hobby. He's carved an anatomical figure and it's made the final show. I got this big piece of wood and, you know, I used to be a doctor. So I thought I would combine my kind of interest in art and my medical knowledge. So I've done a uh, anatomical figure. So it's most of the internal organs that you'll find, not necessary to scale. I have submitted uh, to the summer exhibition every year for a long time. I mean, you know, not, I don't, don't always get in. I didn't get in last year. It's a lot of fun to submit it not knowing you're going to get anywhere. And then when you get that email saying you've got in, it's brilliant. It is art for everyone, by anyone who wants to try. Nina Nana, News at 10 at the Royal Academy.